I am Layla Mahdi. I am a head and neck and reconstructive surgeon in the Department of Otolaryngology at Johns Hopkins. I treat patients who have head and neck cancer, which means cancer that affects the skin, the mouth, the throat, uh, the back of the uh, tongue and tonsils. I treat patients who also have problems that are not cancer, things that can affect the parotid glands, the thyroid, and the parathyroid glands. I help to then rebuild and restore the areas that we remove during surgery to be able to help patients get back function uh, and form of the head and neck. In addition to taking care of patients, I am also interested in research and specifically, I try to understand how the financial burdens of treatment can harm our patients. This is something that's called financial toxicity and it tries to really understand how the costs of cancer care can harm our patients just like other treatments from radiation or chemotherapy. In addition to financial toxicity, I'm also interested in how things like frailty and changes in taste and smell can uh, impact our patients' quality of life, how they uh, eat and drink and their overall nutrition. And all this is uh, to truly try to understand how these things impact um, patients' cancer outcomes. I wanted to become a head and neck and reconstructive surgeon really because of the patients that we treat. Diseases of the head and neck can impact our ability to swallow, to hear, uh, to talk. These are all things that help us really interact with the world. Being part of a team that can remove those diseases and then restore function in swallowing and speaking and eating and listening uh, is really a way to help patients uh, restore things that make them fundamentally human. My approach to treating head and neck cancer and problems of the head and neck is to really treat the whole patient and not just the disease. What this means is taking the time to really listen to patients and try to understand what their goals are for treatment, to try to understand what are some of the challenges and barriers that they might have in getting the treatments that we recommend, and also trying to understand what role their caregivers and friends and families have in supporting our patients through treatments. If you or somebody you know has a problem or cancer of the head and neck, we have a great team of people who are here ready to evaluate, treat, and support you.